So the last few weeks, we started getting more and more phone calls with people interested in going through and doing a, a VA Streamline or an EARL, an Interest Rate Reduction Refinance Loan. This is where you can take advantage of the low rates that are available and restructure your existing loan. More of those people that have been calling us lately have, have gotten into a situation where they were solicited to do VA 3-1 hybrid arms over the last few years from a company called Mortgage Investors Corporation. They've recently been calling um, that company and they're no longer able to do loans currently at this time. It always makes me nervous when you go through and do an arm. In the last 20 years, we've seen rates dropping during this time period, and a lot of times they show charts that as if it's always going to continue to drop. Uh, most of us in the industry know these were really, really good times, and most likely in the future, eventually, no one knows when it's going to happen, but rates are going to start going back up. One of your biggest advantage of having a VA, VA loan itself is they're assumable, meaning at a later date or sometime down the road, you always could sell your house to another veteran or to a non-veteran and have them assume your existing loan. The thing I tell everyone, would someone five, six, seven years from now want to assume a loan that could go up in the future? Or would they want to assume a loan that's on a 30-year fix? In my opinion, they'd want to do that type of loan. Now, arms of that type or any other type serve a purpose. If you only plan to live in the house for a short time period, or if rates are really high and you want to take advantage of a lower interest rate. But in the last past few years, and currently right now, rates being this low, I see nowhere to your advantage to do an arm. And I would pretty much guarantee that sometime in the future, rates are going to start going up. Um, so this is the time, even if you're doing a lateral movement on interest rates or you're going up just a small fraction, I would definitely recommend going into a permanent fixed 30-year loan. I just think it's currently the time to take advantage of rates before they do start going up and put yourself in a permanent financing on a 30-year fix. So hopefully this answers some of your questions. If you have any further, please always feel free to call my office and we'd love to help you in this situation. Thank you.